Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I'm Ethan Nabi Khalid, final year medical student from Baghdad University College of Medicine. In this lecture, we are going to talk about mechanism of action of different antibiotics. Objectives is to know the mechanism of action of different antibiotics, and number two is to understand the clinical difference between bactericidal and bacteriostatic antibiotics. قبل ما نبلش نحن بهذا الفيديو ما راح نحكي عن تفاصيل الميكانيزم اوف اكشن ما راح ندخل ديب within the pharmacology of uh, الميكانيزم مال اكشن مال different drugs بس راح نحكي الاشياء اللي تو كونسيدر ان ديلي كلينيكال براكتس وان ديلينج وذ انتيبايوتكس انتيبايوتكس كان بي كاتيجورايز باي ذير ميكانيزم اوف اكشن ان تو ثري جروبس نمبر 1 ار ذوز ذات ان هاف سيل وول سينثيسيس اور فانكشن Number two are those that inhibit nucleic acid synthesis or function. And the three, those that inhibit protein synthesis. Number one, antibiotics that inhibit cell wall synthesis or function. Are, uh, first of all, is the beta-lactam antibiotics. Here, most uh, commonly used antibiotics in a clinical practice include the penicillin, the cephalosporins, carbapenems, and monobactams. Vancomycin, daptomycin, and polypeptides. Antibiotics that inhibit the nucleic acid synthesis or function are uh, three groups also. Those that inhibit the DNA gyrase are the quinolones. Number two are those that inhibit the folate synthesis like tri uh, trimethoprene sulfamidoxazole. And three those that create free radicals like metronidazole and nitrofenitoin. Antibiotics that inhibit protein synthesis. These are the last group. Uh, number one, that, those that inhibit the 50S ribosomal subunit are the macrolides, the clindamycin, lanizoloids, tryptogramines, and the chloramphenicol. The so, most important here, macrolides. Uh, number two, those that inhibit 30S ribosomal subunit are the aminoglycosides, tetracycline, and ticycline. Uh, ممكن انه uh, يعني الدفرنس بين انه من دول اللي تنهبت 50S and inhibit 30S ribosomal subunit يعني هذا الشيء مهم clinically الحقيقة no, no it, is, it is not important clinically بس احنا ذاكر هنا مجرد حتى uh, for easier classification Bacteriostatic versus bactericidal antibiotics uh, for those who are not familiar with these terms, bactericidal antibiotics are those antibiotics that kill the bacteria, and bacteriostatic antibiotics are those antibiotics that stop the growth of the bacteria, but they do not kill them. السؤال هل من المهم إنه أعرف أني كل أنتيبايتيك هو بكتيريوستاتيك أو بكتيريسايدال وهل من المهم إنه أفرق منه هذا ومنه هذا ومن أوصف أنتيبايتيك لبيشنت؟ الحقيقة it cool because there is no evidence that bactericidal antibiotics are better than bacteriostatic ones in most clinical situations. Situations in which bactericidal agents are traditionally preferred over bacteriostatic are endocarditis, meningitis, osteomyelitis, adenotropenia. So, unless you are dealing with one of these conditions, so on, at the suspect you are dealing or proven you are dealing with one of these conditions, may احتاج you put much of a, of a thought in how this antibiotic is bacteriostatic or bactericidal. Aku fact, look, it could be some of the antibiotics here bacteriostatic at one dose and bactericidal at another dose. And some of the antibiotics are bacteriostatic against one bacterial species and bactericidal into other bacteria species. So, unless you are dealing with one of these conditions, there is no uh, much benefit from knowing that this antibiotic is bacteriostatic or bactericidal. These are the references for this lecture, and thank you for watching.